All right, welcome back. Now, um, we know that, uh, especially after the GDP of Nigeria was uh, rebased a couple of years ago, um, that the informal economy um, is probably the biggest employer of labor in this country. Um, small businesses, small, medium uh, enterprises are the backbone of any economy, and Nigeria is no exception. But the majority of that in Nigeria is actually the informal sector. So those are people who are street hawking, street trading, in open markets where there's really no sort of data or statistics or proper sort of documentation. And um, usually they seem to be affected the most when talks about uh, urbanization uh, come up, especially with regards to maybe building roads or trying to properly plan a city, especially in places like Lagos and cities like Kano, where you have a huge population. Um, so we're going to be talking about urbanization and its effects on small businesses in Nigeria, especially the informal sector. Here with me is Bisola Akimuyua and Nicolas Ekwereme. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so let me start with you, Bisola, now. Um, it's a very hard um, conversation to have with uh, people in the informal sector, especially when you, know, you start talking about, okay, we need to transform the face of a city. For example, let's using Lagos as, as an example now. We've had so many issues in the past, you know, where maybe roads want to be built or expanded, and the first people who are affected are market women or, mm -hmm. you know, people who are street trading. They get cleared out immediately. How hard is this to balance? Because it, it's, it's as much as we need to urbanize sometimes, how do we manage those kind of situations, you think? And let me first come in in the area of the effect. Yes. Um, in terms of, um, let me hit the point, yeah, livelihood. Um, I also go straight to mobile courts because there are a lot of examples there for me to hit in. Because as um, Justice Department Initiative for Allega, and we have a team, legal team for Allega members who do go to mobile courts, you know, as spe um, special offenses courts. And most cases that we do handle there, based on street trading, car pushing, hawking, such criminal case under environmental management law of Lagos State 2017. And I'm going somewhere to <coughs> forget. Um, the effect, mostly effect, this um, law affects majority the poor ones in the society. How did I mean? Based on experience and um, each time we do go to mobile court, we do find this case come up every day. And we do find almost about 30, 50 people charged for no means of livelihood. Meanwhile, they are means of livelihood, but they will still charge them no means of livelihood. And what happens after they were arrested and their goods will be seized? And after they seize their goods, they will still be giving a fan or um, uh, or option of spending one, two months or three months imprisonment, then they will still come back and they will still be arrested. So I think uh, based on this aspect, majority, the truth is we, the above all, are the people that stick to the effect of this um, law. So, and based on what, let me come in the area of the solution, when we are trying to look for a better solution and also to make it an inclusive for the poor ones, if there will be a law that will come in, I think they should also consider the poor ones that if we will ask them not to do this, what will be the alternative for them in order for them to be among the city? Mr. Be, Buka, my community to be yes, included. I understand your point. You get. Yeah. So then how are they going to do that? They will, uh, the, the, those people that are making the law, they won't just be in their office, just use their imagination to program what the law will fit in. But they should just try to come down to the poor ones level to make it inclusive. Let me, let me come to Nicholas now. You, you have a history of street hawking, I believe. Yeah. T tell us, take us through your story, please, and your experience. With it. Thank you, viewers. And yeah. like you said earlier, my name is Nicholas Ikwereme. I, I am an engineer, mechanical engineer by profession. Yes. And uh, married with uh, four kids. Um, sometimes in 1994, I was in the village when my brother brought me down to Lagos. Um, 
just to join him in his uh, oil business, that farm oil business. And I look at it that I'm born from the family of eight, the second son, and this cannot help. So I had the intention, the zeal, the passion to go to school. So um, during break time, I just found something to do. So I found myself in a street hawking. I joined in street hawking. And from- What were you hawking exactly? I was uh, hawking ice cream <laughs> <laughs> and yogurt, all those stuff then. And uh, then pure water was not rampant. It was ice water. The nylon water yes, type. Yeah. So it was then I was able to generate money for my jam, 1997. And then I got admission 98 and then I left Lagos. So after school, I secured a job with Ebinko Nigeria Limited and then I was asked to return back to Lagos again. So this time I was working with Binko and then suddenly this program, Justice and Government Initiative, well, you know, come across my way. So I had peak interest. So I was trained as a community-based paralegal. And uh, one of the reasons for this is to help solve people's problem and community problem as well. Then in sometime in 2017, um, we had the case of a woman who came back from work around nine o'clock. The, the daughter was uh, ill from Barrega. And then she was like, want to buy drug for the ill child. And right there was picked by police, tax force, that night, 9 p.m., and straight to mobile court. And the next morning, she was charged and was arraigned. She was arraigned and charged and was sent to prison, Krikri prison. And she was not allowed to communicate to her people, her parents, I mean, her husband, nobody. She wasn't given that chance. She was there for two weeks. Before God, as God may have it, she was able to have access to call her people. And when the case came to us, that was how we got to have link to um, mobile courts. Mm. 